Good morning. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel, Creating in the Waiting. I am hopping on with just a quick little flip through of Pinocchio, my altered little golden book. He has two signatures. The story still flows, which means um, all the original pages are intact and I have kept them um, in a manner that the story is still, um, you can read it as if, you know, you were just reading the little golden book. Comes with a little beaded pen, lays extremely nicely, doesn't really need a closure, and sometimes the closures I find just kind of mess up the, the cover. Not really mess it up, but if I do them, they're detachable, just like my little tassel on the side. He is not going to lay flat right now. Uh, because you know how I have you guys propped up and I just unjammed my printer so please excuse the ink underneath my fingers that's what happens when you run doilies through your printer um, everything that you see in him the pockets the guest checks the time cards the doilies I have printed the images onto those items specifically so uh, the little golden books are truly one of a kind little time card there guest uh, receipts. The guest checks are a little bit smaller. I like the guest receipts. They allow for um, bigger images but also more writing space. I made the cute little pocket. The paper pad that I am using for most of my little golden books is tattered and torn. Um, I do believe it's Paper Studio. I get from Hobby Lobby and it is not double sided so what I do is I actually glue the pages together and then I sew around the edges as well. A little pool waterfall here. These are vellum pockets. This is Geppetto's workshop here. I printed the images onto the vellum sheet and then just cut them. Made these stationaries also. Just little stenciling and whale tails there. I still want the journal to be functional as what it's for is a journal. Just kind of dedicated this little spread here to Jiminy Cricket, printed the little silhouette onto the journaling spot, and then sewed around the edges and glued it down. A little paper sack pocket. Those are little um, vintage uh, vocabulary cards. A vintage flash card with vellum back with just some of the digital kit that I used in this. Made that little paper sack. Again, just printed this image onto stationery, did some stenciling. This is a digital kit that I am using. I just put extra pieces of stuff that I didn't use um, under here. It's a little sack pocket. And then these are Pinocchio coloring sheets. Because what's a little golden book if you don't have something to color? Printed the little silhouette onto pin uh, the, the writing spot there. Little blue ruffles for the pops of blue throughout. Printed this image onto the doily. Geppetto's little workshop. It did some uh, big brown marble beads down at the bottom of each signature. This is an embossed paint sample here. Printed the image onto the guest receipt as well with a fairy. A little cluster down there at the bottom. Guys, I have literally broke every tripod I have purchased. Sad day. Embossed paper, because it's fun. A little tuck spot. Little snippet down there. I mean, it would make my life a little bit easier if I had my tripod set up. I am going to be doing a new series in my group, so please join us. It's going to be an altered um, composition book or an altered store-bought journal and we are literally going to take a journal that we have purchased and alter it. Um, I should have done a flip through of the one that I just made. It sold pretty quickly. Um, thank God. This is just a little flip up CD envelope there. It's a pocket. And then the little altered playing cards I've done with Geppetto's workshop there backed with, you know, the extra digital little guest receipt I made there. This is an embossed coffee filter that I just did. You know, a scrap piece of the doily and then just a little cluster there. Little paper ruffle, some stenciling. Of course you see the original book pages and the only thing that I typically like to do to those are just add ribbon. This is a full size vellum pocket. And then there is a guest receipt inside that I have made with Pinocchio on it. 
flows very nicely coming to the second signature here more stationary stenciling digital little pocket i made and then of course the two little ephemera pieces there i like putting the time cards in the pocket and then the guest receipt kind of in the back super cute Another little pool waterfall here with the vellum pockets of Geppetto's workshop. Stenciling, cute, cute, cute little snippet belly band there with a guest receipt that I made tucked behind. Let me just kind of pull that out a little bit so you can see the goodness there. Another little flip there. So that flips up and that's a pocket as well. A little side pocket there. Of course, just some little custom pieces that I've made. Again, just there. Another doily center. The marbles down at the bottom. I wish that you guys could really see this and it's full glory there's some little altar time card or little altar playing cards in this pocket also little vintage doilies because they're fun and we love them little side strip there little custom pocket there custom guest receipt Another full-size vellum pocket with a custom guest receipt also. Now, if you were to do three signatures, I have found the best way to do that is to do the story in the front and in the back and then here in the center you would just do all writing pieces um and just you know extra extra writing spots so that's him i hope you guys enjoyed this flip through love the way the pen came out uh please find us on facebook it would just be a pleasure to have you there bye